See the next example on the concept of exact equations. Find the value of lambda. For the differential equation, xy square plus lambda x square by dx plus x plus y x square into dy is equal to 0 is exact. Here, given that equation is exact, directly he provided that this differential equation is exact. So, we have to find out the unknown value lambda which is involved in this equation. After that, we have to solve the equation for this lambda value. Okay, see. Solution. So, first of all, write the given equation. Given that xy square plus lambda x square y into dx plus x plus y whole into x square dy is equal to 0. Take it equation number 1 is exact. This equation is exact. Hence, what is the condition for exactness? Do m by do y is equal to do m by do x here. By using this condition, we can get the value of lambda. Okay. Here, what is m? By comparing the given equation with the standard form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, you will get the value of m and n. m is nothing but this one, n is nothing but coefficient of dy. Here m is equal to xy square plus lambda x square y. And what is n? Take this x square to inside. You will get x into x square, x cube. x square into y is nothing but x square y. So, do m by do y means partial differentiation of m with respect to y. In this case, except y remaining are all constants, particularly x term is constant. So, you can write x as usually and the derivative of y square is 2y. So, you will get 2xy here plus and lambda x square is the constant term. So, don't disturb the two terms because they were in product and derivative of y with respect to y is 1. And now, what is do n by do x? Do n by do x is nothing but derivative of n with respect to x only. So, it would be 3x square plus 2xy. Since given equation is exact and we have do m by do y is equal to do n by do x, you should equate this both terms. 2xy plus lambda x square should be equal to, first you should write this term 2xy plus 3x square. Okay. By equating the like terms on both sides, you will get lambda value is equal to 3. Otherwise, you can cancel the terms. 2xy, 2xy gets cancelled. x square, x square gets cancelled. So, lambda value is 3. So, if you replace lambda is equal to 3 in this equation, then only given equation becomes exact. Okay, this is the first part. Now, we have to solve the given equation for this lambda value. So, the complete solution. The complete solution of given equation 1 is already know that general solution otherwise complete solution of an exact equation is integral m dx plus integral terms of n terms of n not containing x whole into dy is equal to c ok replace all values here and don't forget one important point in the first part y should be constant whenever we are taking the integration with respect to x automatically y becomes constant replace all terms of m here what is m x y square plus lambda what is lambda 3 you can write 3 here so you will get 3 x square y into dx here y is the constant nothing but it is a like a real number plus integral. Don't write all terms of n. Once you look at the terms of n, here we have two parts in n. One is x cube, another one is x square y. All terms contains x. So, don't take any term from n. 
so here blindly you can write zero here so what is you can separate the terms otherwise x y square we are observing that y square is the constant term right outside from the integration x dx plus 3y is the constant term integral x square dx is equal to c don't write is equal to 0 okay if you do not write c here your problem becomes wrong because if you write 0 only it means only solution it is not a general solution don't forget it so integration of x is x square by 2 already y square is there so you will get x square y square by 2 plus integration of x square is x cube by 3 so you will get 3y x cube by 3 is equal to c we are observing that this 3 this 3 gets cancelled and take the lcm 2 you will get x square plus y square plus 2x cube y is equal to 2c this is the required general solution of given equation in this way we can solve the given equation which is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 now i will give another example on the concept of exact c